And the losers each gonna have to eat one chip from the one chip challenge. Oh my god. Oh my god. Please don't let You're me good. down. First team to have each person catch one bass. Build your own boat challenge. Starts in three, two, one. Get out there. Ooh. the Guggen Squad channel. Welcome back to the Guggen Squad channel. What are we doing today? We got a boat build? We got boat builds. We, we did this recently on my channel. Built four boats. Three boats. Three boats. <laughs> Can't count. But today we got two gentlemen who want a little skin in the game. So the rules are pretty simple. I don't think we have a budget. I don't think we have a time. Do we have a time? A three hours? Three hour time. Maddie B said no budget. It's fine. It's Guggen Squad channel. So. <laughs> We're gonna be going to Home Depot. We're split up in two teams. We got the 30 year olds, the 20 year olds. The hope is that we're gonna build boats to hold two people in this challenge. That's, that's pretty That's pretty tough because the combined weights are gonna be. I'm about to say, y'all some big boys. Yeah. Over 400 pounds for you two? Yeah. yeah Maybe over 500, honestly. honestly. <laughs> I don't think no, 100%. 500. <laughs> yeah. I don't think an actual John boat could hold the two of us. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah. We learned that yesterday. And then for us, you know, we got. We got yak pack with the tree trunk legs and the booty. <laughs> and make me blush. blush. Uh, Don't make yes. me blush. <laughs> and then we got me with zero building experience. So uh, this is gonna be an interesting challenge, I think. I think so too. Also linked in the very top of the description is all of the brand new Dugan Summer merch. Check it out. You don't want to miss out, I promise. Now. How do we determine who wins this challenge and what is the punishment the loser has Dude, to do? One rod is oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> the winner of this challenge, once those boats get built, we get to the lake, the first team to get their boats in the lake, both, both members on it, and catches one single fish, one fish, that is the winner. Okay, the losers, I, like that. I like that. And the losers, each gonna have to eat one chip from the one chip challenge. Oh my God. Oh my God. Please don't let You're me good. down. You're good, you're good. That is. So, super pumped. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> well, we know Norm. Does, I don't know about you, but Norm is not a big fan of spice. What about you? I can handle it. Okay. Not yeah. as good as him, though. I have a yeah. tapered tongue, like one in 15,000 genetically. <laughs> where spot, like mild food is extra spicy to me. So, <laughs> I, I've done this challenge like three times where the one chip challenge, I've avoided the spicy chip three times, but I feel like I'm running low on luck. But I did win the last boat build challenge not to yeah, you flex. Did. I just put a wheelbarrow in the water and that and I won somehow. <laughs> Caught the most fish. So fun. you guys got some competition, that's all I'm gonna so say. So boats in the water, both fishing boys on the boat. Mm -hmm. First fish wins. Oh, should you do first bass? We don't want someone to catch like a two inch blue. Hey, first, first, yeah, first, first bass. First bass. If your boat sinks, you're disqualified though. Because so you automatically we, have, we have to define what a boat is because if yeah. your boat goes yeah. down, yeah. You then got, you automatically lose. So you, yeah. it has to float. Yes, be floating. Absolutely. You can't be touching the water dry. and you have to catch one fish. Okay. Yes. Stay dry. Gotcha. Completely dry. Too easy. Completely dry. Dry. Yeah. Okay, dry. Okay. One fish. One fish each. I like oh. that. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Maddie B comes in with a little twist. So we each have to catch one fish. Yeah, I'm down with that. I'm down. Okay. I that's think that's intense. Cool. So we got the boat has to float for a little bit longer. Yeah. So yeah. We're gonna put the boat to the test. Oof. I say we quit talking. Yeah. Get, get to a building. plan. Get to building. We are at Walmart right here. Cause our strategy is so simple that we can get everything we need. Good old Walmart. The other boys, where'd they go? The Home Depot. And they're gonna be they're gonna be extra. They're gonna build like a, an entire yacht, I feel like. <laughs> like a two-story yacht of some sort. They're, they're, they're probably gonna come back with a motor. All, like, either, you never know with them two. But ours, super simple. Do we need to tell them or should we just get in there and just go? Follow us. All right, Mike, hear me out. All right. Air mattresses duct taped together with Guggen Green duct tape just because we're obnoxious. All right? Now, do we want to take the risk and get two of these that are extra high? Yeah. But the higher you are, the easier it is to flip. That's true. Yeah, very true. true. I got a broke shoulder to prove that, okay? <laughs> do you want to do the low ones? They are cheaper. Yeah. And even though there's not a budget, they are cheaper. Yeah. And pretty cheap. You can you know, probably duct tape a little easier. And, or, you know, we might get a little bit wet. But oh, be, what's up here? You're being 15 oh, inch. Oh, 15 deluxe. inch. Oh, that could be it. The 15 inch. That sounds like a pretty 
Oh, that'd be hell. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty heavy. That's, that's pretty, pretty heavy. heavy. We can do that. <laughs> I think we could try to get it down. Oh shit. Yeah, that's pretty heavy. <laughs> I mean, it might fall. We're gonna see. <laughs> I'm a little short for this, bro. Okay, oh, you yeah. just try to catch them if they yeah. fall. Yeah. Wait, okay, I'm gonna climb up. Let me climb up. Okay. I'll catch the top. Oh, you're strong. You're strong. <clears throat> I got him. Oh, God. Let's go, baby. How did I know we were gonna do that? I feel like this could be the one. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Two of those together, 15 yeah. inch height. Yeah, and then that's good height because you don't want to get too high, but we don't want to go too low. Yeah, because if we're this low, like yeah, if we're, yeah, yeah, we're yeah, thinking, yeah. we're thinking. I think 15 inch could be perfect. I honestly feel All like right, this that's is a queen. It. 60 yeah. by 80 by 15. Okay. Woo. All right, definitely. Yeah, those two. Yeah, yep. yep. That's the ones. Let's do it. Now, now we need duct tape. Yeah. Let me see. Yeah, that's that's. So what is it? 60 inches in width. So yeah, we're gonna need, <laughs> we're gonna need a lot. Yeah, we're gonna need a good amount of tape. Electric, weird tape right here. Waterproof tape. Okay, here. now, next on the list, something to navigate us with. Yeah, we, we need a paddle. Something. Perfect. 24 inch model, homemade air mattress propellers. <laughs> All right, put some tape around these bad boys. Yeah, waterproof tape. Waterproof tape, put it around there. I think it's gonna work. Oh, and it's two of them. So if we row, row, row our boat gently down the stream, you know what I'm saying? I think it's gonna work, boys. We have a weight disadvantage. We're the two biggest guys, and we're on the same team. So our boat has to be very floatable. But good thing Floatable. is you build boats for a living basically now. So Not I'm just really. gonna let you do your expertise. Here's what I'm thinking we do. So I think when we did the 1v1v1 1 1 on my channel, I think our, my boat was the most buoyant. Like I think it had yeah. the most flotation. I think so too. So I think we just make the same boat but make it three times as big. I like that. Yeah. The, and if we could like have like a casting deck where we're walking around, because yeah. both of us have to catch a fish. So we gotta make sure not only will it float, but can we fish out of it. So. Exactly. Let's All find right. some let's find some plywood and some tubs. We just gotta buy the tubs to fit in four by eight areas. So the boat will probably end up being eight by eight. Eight foot by eight foot. Yes. So one gallon is 8.34 pounds of buoyancy. So one gallon of air, 8.34 pounds. Okay. So, and these are how many gallons? 30? 38. 38. So if we sink, we're instantly disqualified. Like we lose right. and we have to eat the chips. I wanna make sure this doesn't sink. So eight, <laughs> Buoyancy per gallon of air is eight pounds. So we're gonna do eight times 38. Oh, dude, we are so chilling with this. I know, so I know. that's 304 pounds per container. Dude, and we have top, one, though. two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So by math, and this is with no added weight, it could hold 2,432 pounds. Which means it float on your, top. Mom. Which means my granddad and us could fit on <laughs> yeah. it. So we're not sinking. I can't wait to see Yakpak and One Rod's boat because I just know it's a bad idea. There's no way. The way Yakpak told One Rod the idea, I knew it was a bad idea, but it's gonna be funny. All right, we need plywood. Home Depot is never like just a 20 minute in and out trip. It always ends up being three hours that you're stuck in here. All right guys, so we need two four by eights, 60 bucks a piece for a piece of wood. I don't know how much this stuff used to cost, but that seems a little pricey. But we need them. Dude, we got the wood, AO's getting screws, and I think we have everything we need. It's literally just tubs, wood, screws, putting it all together. And then hopefully it'll hold 500 pounds of straight fishing manpower and we can beat Yak Pack and one rod and catch the two fish first. Um, so we have a weed whacker. When you think about a traditional trolling motor, I mean, you're talking a couple hundred bucks. Wow, dude, it's extremely light. That's good. Should we get two or three? No. <laughs> are you kidding or are you for real? <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> That's $250. Dude, that's a cheap trolling motor. You gotta admit, some trolling motors are like five grand, so. Yeah. We're saving them money. Oh, yes, sir. 
That's a wrap. Get two of them bad boys. One for me, one for you. Yeah. We need to move across efficiently. Right. Yes. All right, let's get out of here. And that is how you get all the supplies you need in 15 minutes. Bro, that might have even been 14 minutes. <laughs> Less than that. Yeah, I think we're in Eastern time. <laughs> Are we first ones back to camp? There's no way. No, they're, no, they're here. Oh, all right. Well, we got all the minutes. supplies. Oh. 15, 15 minutes, minutes or less. Dude, I should have known. I already see they have air mattresses. I should have known. I knew they were going to do that. I yeah. was like, dude, bed fishing's over though, so. <laughs> nice. I'm here all week. Got all the supplies, one hour time limit. Building starts right now. So right now we've got to open these up. This is a super key. What you want to do with these air mattresses, you want to inflate them, bounce them around a little, stretch out the plastic, and then you got to inflate them more. If we don't do this step, when we get out there, they'll sag, and we might potentially sink. Super key step right here. Plug her in. There she goes. A little bounce on here. Before we drill some serious holes, make sure that the holes go where they need to go. Because mm -hmm. you have too many holes, it's always a problem. Every time. Every time. So you guys' plan is literally to roll the duct tape all the way around multiple times. No words. I see how they're playing. Not good sportsmanship. I'm so confident right now. If this video ends with me eating a hot chip, I'm mad. I'd be shot. <laughs> yeah, I think so. King boat restorer. Hi there. I'm really excited to see. When you guys flip it over, oh, the how many screws are? Oh, they're protruding. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. yeah, she's poking through. I wreck the dirt bike. You wreck it? Did it hurt? Yeah, I scraped my hand pretty good. Oh shit. Yeah. <laughs> okay. That broke. That broke bike. Is that broke bike? That broke. That dirt bike has f***ed up a lot of people. Did you want to see it? <laughs> sure. Squad apparel available at googansquad.com. <laughs> Skin flaps just flapping. <laughs> oh, perfect. Oh, God. This is why I have to keep you guys around. Cheers, buddy. Cheers. We watched these guys uh, go to town on their little death trap they have. I would not want to fall face first. You guys are doing a great job over there. So the one thing that I think we have these guys beat on is they have not thought about how windy Texas is and propulsion is very important. Yeah. They have air mattresses which probably weigh a collective of, what would you say, 10 pounds altogether? <laughs> Maybe so. And so the wind is going to beat these guys into yeah. the shallowest water possible. They're going to be struggling the whole time. We're going to have a little bit more weight. Dude, and theirs is also double as high so the wind's going to catch it twice as much as our boats. So they're gonna be flying right. across the lake, probably in the wrong direction. Exactly, and we're gonna have not only a heavier boat, some electric power, electric propulsion. Pretty sure this thing tops out at about three or four horsepower. Mm. Dude, it might scoot us quick as a trolling motor. I think quicker. We have some, we have some potential here. We also have snow shovels. Oh, and no, umbrellas. We have wind power. Oh, yeah. We, we have, have electric power. power. The umbrella is going to be a game changer. So if we see them blowing up across the lake, wind's blowing hard. Deflating the air mattress. We have deflated the air mattresses. Now it's completely portable. We're going to put them back with our SUV right there. Keep it safe. Oh, slam that. Oh, slam it? Okay. Okay. Oh. 
Oh, that works. I'm feeling pretty confident about the build. We're strapping her in. As long as she gets to the pond, we kind of knock some of the screws off. So we're ratchet strapping down. Basically, the containers, if they fly off, the whole boat flies off. So I definitely feel like our build is 10, 20 times better. Uh, I'm just afraid, dude, we automatically win if their duct tape comes undone. They only have like three or four wraps around there. So there's a lot of things going for us. The hour's over. The boats are finished. We're heading to the water right now. See who wins. Out here now we got blown back up I don't know what the best strategy is but let's just go ahead and uh, drag one of these bad boys right over here plug it right into this truck oh we in on late get big on me baby I think this is gonna be good and boy who am I kidding it's windy it's air mattresses with duct tape. All we need to do, Mike, is two fish, fast. The fastest two fish catches we've ever done in our life. That's what we need today. Because yes, I'm not trying to eat that chill. It burns now, I don't know what it is. There's just a little bit of gravel in there. Make sure we can get as much arm hair in this situation as possible. Yeah, there we go. I like that. Thank you. The hope is that I just don't get any flesh eating bacteria because we're in a pond right now. We got duct tape two band-aids. It's just in a weird spot, you know? I don't want you guys to think I'm a sissy. Should push us that way. I'm just worried that it won't push us in any direction. It'll just churn water. I think it'll push though. Nah. Not in this you don't have any hope? No. None? Zero. You gotta try it though. I spent 250 bucks on it. Oh, we're gonna we're gonna use it, but I just wanted a weed whacker to take home. So now there's no way, dude. Like every trolley motor blade or main motor blade is curved. Those are straight. So it's just gonna turn around in the water and push us no way. I feel like you just have no confidence at all. Even if there was like an angle of the dangle, get it in right. I'm saying it's straight. It doesn't happen. Oh, man, I think there's always the right angle. She's looking good, boys. She's looking good. I really don't see it coming. Oh. I think, I think All right, y'all. Devin and I just joined the party. We had to bring out some safety boats. That we might have to assist some of the gentlemen here if they get stuck. It is very windy today. Gusts up to 30 miles an hour, so I have a feeling we're going to come into play. We got the pedal drive and the little John boat over here with the motor to get them out of any sticky situations. We're about to take off here. Let's go. All right, guys, first team to have each person catch one bass. Build your own boat challenge starts in three, two, one. Get out there. Bro, why does it stop when it's in the water? Hey, We gotta get the bank, bro. Oh, my feet already. Watch this. Good luck, boys. I hope you guys have bad luck. Oh, I got him. I'm on. I'm on. Fair catch, baby. Let's get in the bow this one. Let's go, TJ. Let's go. Meanwhile, the sails aren't even up. Oh, the number one. TJ, you want to throw this? I got one of the first cast. You want to throw this? TJ, you want to throw this bait? Yeah, let me get this one here. Oh, oh no, fish both. Leave it out there. You, you, you control both at the same time. There's number one. We're on the board. See ya. Oh, oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Sails up, baby. Sails up. I got you. 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 I got we're unstoppable. You do, you do. <laughs> <laughs>
All right, yeah, that, <laughs> that doesn't work. Hey, are you boys uh, thinking about fishing anytime soon, or are you just gonna chill over there? <laughs> I love one rod so much. Dude, we got, I feel like they're like, we're just fishing no man's land. Got him, got him, run! Yes! Stay on there, please! You didn't like my location. <laughs> yes! On the blazing worm, dude, reeling it. All right, all right, that counts. Cause he's on the boat. Uh -oh. No way. No way. Dude, it's I saw your rod tip move. Tiny. Dude, get him, get him, please. Please. Is he on? Is he on? Oh, yeah. oh, boys, it's a tie ball game. So I'm saying, we got one on the blazing worm, and she's a beaut. Dude, this has happened quick. We've only been out here for like five minutes. We're gonna let her go. I don't know if that's a fish. I don't know if that is a fish. That is a fish. Let's go! Let's go, baby! It's game over! Hey, Norm! Woo! Hey, enjoy that one chip challenge, baby! Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. <laughs> that game is better than that. And I cut my foot wide open, boy. Yeah, dude, that thing is, dude, your foot is wide open. I know. Hey. Peace. Ooh, Jimmy, that's right a there. dog, baby. That's a dog. I wait to see Norm eat that hot chip. <laughs> I'm going to tell y'all right now, if there was one fishing challenge I did not want to lose, it was that one because that chip sucks. And if you don't think it sucks, go get one and eat one. Oh, they're going to see how much it sucks. Yeah. I like how that lasted 10 minutes. Yeah, we, glad we, we didn't even have a chance to catch a second fish. You, you, had a chance? you had a chance. We should have spent 60 minutes on our belts. That would have made this way more legit. Yeah, I think if we would have changed the rules, we definitely would have won. I'm like just hearing, the way the I'm weird. I'm just hearing a lot of excuses it. right now. That's all I'm hearing. Yeah, you got excuses. I'm just buying a kayak, bro. I didn't know we could buy it. air mattresses. Yeah. Yeah. Walmart. <laughs> yeah. Well, I know the manager. <laughs> he took me to the back. Ooh, well, mattresses. all I know is that uh, our team took the dub today. We got, we built the uh, Walmart air mattress vessel, caught one fish each first. Now uh, we're gonna have to join these boys back at uh, HQ for them to take on the one chip challenge. So excited guys, smash subscribe and comment down below how much you, you loved our boat. It'll mean a lot. Literally the first sentence says, do not eat if you are sensitive to spicy foods. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. I love this. How long can you last before throwing them in the towel? Eating or drinking anything. Five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, or an hour. Bro, I give them 20 seconds max. Yeah, the, the, yeah, for sure. Because they don't do spicy. I know, I've known Norm for literally years now. He just don't do spicy. But that's okay. Not everybody does spicy. I didn't do spicy. But I made it. I think I made it like 20 minutes or something like that. But it's ridiculous when I tell you guys it's so bad it burns so it was I couldn't even swallow it was so bad one two three let's do it he's in it's in hey both in there baby get them both in I don't even feel it all right just so I ate it he ate it okay. all right so now I'm just gonna go straight to the faucet oh no dude Ooh, it gets worse with time, eh? Oh yeah, oh, oh. It's gonna, <laughs> it'll take three minutes to get full effect. This is nothing. Wait three minutes. Are you supposed to eat or not? Oh yeah, eating helps. Oh no, you oh. instantly lost, bro. Oh. Look, you instantly oh. lost. <laughs> bro, we've been losing oh. all day. Oh shoot! Bro, I, I'm gonna need that faucet in like five seconds. Instantly lost. So I can recess like one, two, three. No more, more water for me. <laughs> Whatever the thing. Dude, gosh. Dude, I'm tearing up. Right. Where are my paper towels? You come eat the chip. Oh, yeah, you got another about two minutes for a I would not touch the alcohol for sure. Yeah, do not do that. Dude, all right, come on, you're hogging the faucet. What? I just put my face in that. Bro, I'm going in the shower. No way. Oh, no. Oh, man, this is not good. Why do we not get milk? That's so bad. My mouth is just, my whole face, my throat. Bro, it's getting worse. The mucus is just running. <laughs> oh, yeah, there we go. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. It protects you from the sun, too, and it's odorless. 
And you can use, you can use code normal. You can use code normal. You can use code normal. You can use code I just, I just wipe my eye with my finger, dude. Gosh. Rinse your eye out. For real. Rinse your eye out. Wipe your eye out. Wipe your eye out. Wipe your eye out. Yo, it's, you it's guys not getting really any better. worse, it's just maintaining. It's like you think it's better, and then you stop drinking liquid and it gets worse again. Yeah. Don't even, you don't dude, even, don't give me so none of that. You told me this was the worst thing you've ever done, man. Yeah, dude, we were just acting up for the camera. Yeah, like, dude. It, I, Half of this it was tasted fake. like one of those I just really things. like gay. That's crazy, because yeah. the chip I was like, that baby, that's cool. But, thanks again for tuning in to another awesome, exciting Google Squad episode. Let us know down in the comment section. What kind of challenge should we do next? What should the punishment be? Let's see how creative you guys can get. Also, don't forget to check out all of the new summer merch linked down in the description below. Use any of the creators at all. Use their codes. Save some money. We'll catch you guys on the next exciting Guggen Squad adventure. We're out. See ya.